The Navy bought its first submarine 99 years ago for $160,000 from its inventor, John Holland. USS Holland weighed 64 tons and was powered by a gasoline engine. But because gasoline posed such a high risk of fire or explosion, American designers soon adopted a diesel engine. During World War I, subs were divided into two categories, those patrolling American coasts and those patrolling hostile European waters. And had it been up to designers in the early 1920s, submarines today might be more like aircraft carriers. Submarine S-1 was tested with a small scout plane. In World War II, submarines played a vital role, destroying 1,314 ships, accounting for 55% of all enemy ships lost. In fact, in the final months of the war, submarines had difficulty finding targets because the Japanese had virtually no ships left to sink. After World War II, submarine designers focused on faster submerged speeds. Experiments of the Navy's David Taylor model basin led to new hull designs. That, coupled with the development of the first nuclear-powered submarine, USS Nautilus, revolutionized underwater warfare. In 1959, the world was introduced to USS George Washington, the world's first nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine. At the end of the Cold War, the submarine force increased its mission to include intelligence gathering. In fact, the number of intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance missions has doubled since 1989 due to an increase in hotspots. And the use of tomahawks in those hotspots has also increased. In Desert Storm, submarines launched less than 5% of the tomahawks successfully fired, but that dramatically increased to nearly 25% during Operation Allied Force in Kosovo. In 1997, USS Seawolf entered the fleet. The completely new design of Seawolf makes it the fastest, quietest, and most heavily armed sub in the world. Virginia-class submarines are the most recent development in underwater warfare. These subs will be able to carry 16 Tomahawk missiles and even specially developed mini-subs, which can take Special Forces hundreds of miles to their landing sites.